Alrighty, the uh, the GAT system, as you know, is two layers. We've got the one layer of tubes down at four feet, the second layer at two feet. And uh, you catch the big tubes in the back that pick the air off from near the uh, roof. And then the smaller tubes up here front that uh, push the air out. And so we were curious in the summer as to how it actually worked. So once we finally got things hooked up and ready, we started running it on some fairly warm days to actually push the heat from inside the greenhouse down into the rock. And we discovered that uh, it has a very good air conditioner uh, to, to keep the greenhouse cooler in the summer. Occasionally, the uh, exhaust fan would kick on to produce a little extra cooling when we got up above. I think I have it set at 85 degrees for that. And then uh, as we cooled down and the exhaust fan no longer working during the day, uh, we started getting some of the colder nights here. As we said earlier, we've, we've run, we've played with uh, freezing a few times, probably uh, 30, 29 degrees, something like that. Uh, I, I've noticed is the uh, at nighttime, it's usually still above 50 degrees by midnight, and then shortly after midnight, I've seen it occasionally drop down 49, 48. I think the coldest morning I saw was 47. And uh, we've got the gas system turned off right now, otherwise you'd be hearing that low rumble in the background. Uh, but what we found is it is picking that heat up from down below and keeping this thing fairly warm throughout the day. Now, on these cold, wintry days, we're in the Northwest, we're famous for the liquid sunshine, except that usually there's not too much sunshine with the liquid. Um, but I've noticed that the, maybe the GAT will run all day long, pulling the heat up out of the soil. Uh, the other thing we've, I've noticed is that if it's really humid in here and we've got a nice warm day, I can pick a lot of that humidity up and dump it down into the rocks and actually warm those rocks up uh, and then recapture that heat at night. It actually comes back and keeps uh, the greenhouse a little warmer at night. I think right now we're at 56 degrees according to that one thermometer over there. And the outside is what, mid 40s right now? Upper 40s. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there are times where, you know, outside catches up with the greenhouse and stuff, but when it gets cold outside, this stays you know, 10, 15, even 20 degrees warmer than the outside tip uh, in the early morning uh, pre-dawn hours.